everybody, it's Lisa Burningham, and I am so glad that you're here. Now, it's pretty evident by just looking over my shoulder that you can tell that I love apothecary jars. There is an endless amount of things that you can put inside. You can switch them up for different seasons or decor styles, and today I'm going to be showing you 15 different ways to style and to decorate with apothecary jars. We're gonna start off today by doing a trio of beach-themed jars. The first thing that I did was I got two cups of sand and I poured it into my large jar and then I got one cup of sand and I poured it into my medium sized jar. And then I got some shells. You can buy shells at Michael's, I've seen them at the Dollar Tree or you can put some shells in that you've collected at different beaches over the course of your travels. And what I did with these shells is I put them around the perimeter of my jar and I put different sized and shaped and colored shells in there so it kind of gave a little bit of a variety and I put them right up against the walls of the glass jar leaving a space in the middle for a battery operated candle now I got these battery operated candles online on Amazon and I just flipped them on and I placed them right inside of the center of the shells in my jar and then I repeated the process of the shells and the candle into my medium sized jar as well. And then I had this smaller jar. I didn't want to put sand inside of this one, I just wanted to do shells. So I just filled it to the brim with shells and then I put the lid back on. Wouldn't these jars be great on a foyer table or on a mantle? I just love the way that it brings in that summery, beachy vibe while keeping everything contained. I created a candy bar and sweets buffet for a wedding reception. The couple wanted to share a sweet treat with all of their guests. The first thing I did was gather a bunch of different sized and shaped apothecary jars. I made labels for each jar and container before adding in the candy. We had treats ranging from every imaginable type of candy, chocolate, licorice, cookies, and donut pops. I even created topiaries with hanging taffy and flavored Tootsie Rolls. If you have a special occasion on the horizon or even a small get together, displaying candy and sweets inside an apothecary jar is a fun and unique way to display your treats. My video is in collaboration with Heidi Sambel and her DIY farmhouse challenge. Heidi is so creative and crafty. She does some really great seasonal decor and some DIY home decor on her channel. I'll leave a link to Heidi's channel in the description box below, as well as a link to the playlist so you can check out all of the other DIY farmhouse ideas that the participants came up with. Typically, you don't see fresh flowers in apothecary jars, but I wanted to have an option that looked a little more natural and had a little more of that farmhouse vibe. So I thought some beautiful flowers would be a great option. I just got these flowers from my yard again. They are blooming, they are so perfect. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is just take some water and I'm gonna fill up my apothecary jar about halfway. Now I'm gonna do it for two reasons. One, because I want the flowers to last longer than a couple of hours, but I also like the way that the flowers look inside with the water and the water's a little more reflective, which I think is really pretty. So now that my flowers are inside, I mean my water is inside, I'm gonna take my flowers. In this large apothecary jar, I'm going to just have some floating flowers. So I'm just gonna cut the flowers until they have about a one and a half to two inch long stem. So about that long, and then I'm gonna place it right inside. I'm gonna continue to do that until the entire apothecary jar is filled up with these flowers. Once we're finished filling up this apothecary jar, we're gonna move on to this one. Now we're not gonna do floating flowers in this one, we're just gonna do more of a bouquet. So I'm going to just place those right inside. 
And for obvious reasons, I am not going to place the lid back on this apothecary jar, but I'll just set it off to the side so people kind of get that apothecary jar fill. And then for one final farmhouse touch, I'm going to take some of this jute and I'm going to tie a bow around the center of the jar. I took a one and a half foot segment of jute cord and wrapped it around the center of the jar and then tied it into a bow. Then I took a pair of scissors and snipped off the end. To get the farmhouse look, you could also wrap the jar in twine, burlap, or lace. I think apothecary jars and glass jars in general tend to be a little more feminine, so I thought it would be fun to come up with some masculine options. So I decided to choose some feathers. I got these pheasant feathers and peacock feathers from Hobby Lobby. I will just place them in the jar upright so they're sticking straight up. And I didn't want to place too many feathers inside because I wanted to see each individual feather. The good thing about these feathers is that they take up a lot of space. So if you're looking for an option to fill your jar that has a lot less items and still takes up the volume of the space, feathers are a great idea. In my medium sized jar, I decided to fill it up with these magnolia seed pods. I have a magnolia tree in my yard and they drop these seed pods all the time. So last fall I gathered up a whole bunch and I spray painted them gold. And I love the rustic look that they're going to give to this set of jars. And the best part is that they were free for me. So what I did was I filled my jar to the brim with these magnolia seed pods. And I really like the way that they look. They would be perfect on a shelf in an office or on a desk. And I think that the colors and the textures of the contents of the jar are very masculine. If this is the first time visiting my channel, welcome. I'm Lisa. I do DIYs and home decor on my channel. I post weekly videos. I would love to have you join me, so please subscribe. Ornaments are a perfect filler for apothecary jars at Christmas time. You can add in a variety of sized and shaped ornaments. You can also customize your ornament colors to fit in with your Christmas decorating color scheme. I filled up my jars with various sized gold ornaments and placed the jars on top of a winter sleigh which created a gorgeous centerpiece for my winter themed dining tablescape. If you're looking for some decor to add to your kitchen, island, or countertop, these fruit filled jars are a great solution. Now in the large jar, I'm just filling it up with some plastic lemons. I got these lemons at Ross. I've also seen some at the Dollar Tree. And in my smaller jar, I'm going to add a bunch of grapes. And again, these grapes are just plastic grapes and I will just nestle this bunch right inside. And the third fruit choice is some mangoes. You can use fresh fruit or plastic fruit or like me, you can use a combination of both. You can use seasonal fruit or even some nuts or some pasta. You could use some flour or sugar that's a little more neutral if you have neutral decor, but any of those options would work great for a kitchen. My next container solution is the simplest and easiest of the day. And that is because the jars themselves are so grand and so beautiful in scale already that they already have a present, so we really don't need to do that much to them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of these glass orbs. I got them from Hobby Lobby and I got them in a variety of different colors. I have some ambers and some golds. And what really makes them different is the textures and the sheens that they have on them. So even though this display is fairly one note when it comes to color, the finish on the orbs makes these jars really shine. A hot cocoa bar is a great way to warm up during those chilly winter months. You can add so many sweet flavors to a steaming cup of cocoa. I placed the hot cocoa mix into an apothecary jar to up the style factor on this display. You could also add in mini marshmallows, peppermints, or sprinkles to an apothecary jar to make your hot cocoa bar one of a kind. Now the majority of apothecary jars are just plain glass and they don't have a lot of embellishment on them. But I do have some of these beautiful cut glass jars and on their own they are just a beautiful statement piece and you really don't need to add that much to them. 
So I decided I would add just one little thing to them and that is a string of twinkle lights. So I got a string of battery operated twinkle lights and I'm going to put them in my jars. The problem with these battery operated lights is that it has a black battery pack. So when you put that black battery pack inside a clear jar, you can see it. So my solution to that is to get some plastic wrap and wrap the battery pack in the plastic wrap. So I got a square of this plastic wrap and I put my battery pack right on top and I wrapped the battery pack up inside of the plastic wrap. And then I was able to place my battery pack and my twinkle lights inside of my jar. Now what I really love about having these lights in this jar is that they illuminate the jar from the inside out. So you can see all of those beautiful cut glass pieces in the jar. This would be a perfect centerpiece on a dinner table and it could be a unique alternative to a candle because it would still give off a soft, warm, ambient glow. The final apothecary jar idea is to fill your jars with some seasonal items. I added some large fall acorns to my jars. These acorns fit in so nicely with my fall dining tablescape. They added a subtle autumn touch to the jars while blending seamlessly in with the overall color scheme and fall theme. Switching up contents in your jars is a cheap and easy way to decorate for the changing seasons. Well, I think we got apothecary decor covered today. We did everything from fresh flowers to seasonal decor. We did seaside fillers, a huge candy buffet. We filled our jars with fruit for the kitchen. We even came up with some ideas for all of those fellas. So if you're looking for a neutral piece of decor, apothecary jars are a great solution. You can switch them out for any season or decor style. I would highly recommend using apothecary jars and hopefully you got some ideas today. Thank you so much for watching.